Hey, hello everyone. Sylvia Oliveira here at Tomatoes Loft. So today, today we have vaccines for the old birds, for the breeders. I haven't vaccinated uh, ever, you know, for, for old bird season. Uh, but uh, this year I'm gonna do it because it's been a few years since um, since they haven't been uh, vaccinated, and um, and also because I got new acquisitions, new birds uh, this year, and so I think it'll be good for them to be vaccinated. Plus, I'm trying to protect my investment, if you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, the other thing that we have is the raffle. We're gonna go and uh, see who the winner is of the uh, Hardy Kruger hen, and we'll we'll see who um, what uh, what decision that winner made whether they want the bird or they want to have a chance to uh, win up to twelve thousand five hundred dollars, or if they want me to sell the bird and give them the money. And uh, we also. We'll uh, have the Matus Awards to uh, my subscribers. And that should be it. So stand by. And guys, don't forget, I got the uh, <clears throat> the birds up for uh, sale at the iPigeon auction. The birds are doing good. They're uh, being fed and properly as usual. I don't, I don't spare any expense when it comes to feed. They get the best feed, Versailaga. At least I, I think it's a, you know, a, a good feed. They get their grits, their, their vitamins, their supplements. So they're uh, still uh, healthy birds and they're looking good, okay? So if you haven't yet, please check out the birds. And uh, if you are in need of some, hey, you don't get better than this, guys. All right, then we're going to start with the hens. The hens are looking good. Some of them are paired up. Yep. Hens get to be some type of uh, lesbian guys and girls. That's just the nature of, uh, of being without the males for so long. But uh, when you have birds, you know what I'm talking about. In fact, they have eggs. One dropped over there. Uh, so, yep. That's the nature of the hen. So, yeah, we're going to basket these guys. And then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, start the vaccination. All right. So, they're all basketed here. A lot of birds. And uh, so this is how, uh, how you get the vaccines. It comes in a, in a what do you call this, a styrofoam box. It's a box. And uh, oh yeah, that comes inside a box. And then you open it and this is what it looks like. So you got um, syringes, which I will be using. And you have the salmonella, and you have the paramoxivirus. So, and then I'm also going to deworm them. Today I will give them one, and in a week I'll give them another. And that puts us uh, close to the end of November early December and uh, that's when I will uh, be pairing them up so let's see if I can uh, film me administering the vaccine and we'll go from there okay guys so uh, one thing I want to show you is uh, when when you are about to extract the liquid from the bottle uh, obviously, you got to pull this aluminum from from the top here. Uh, the needle, you want to get air in the tube, okay? 
you want to stick the needle in gentle because it can it can bend okay you want to pump the air into the bottle and then you can pull out the liquid nice and easy okay so we're ready here so I got the two needles ready I got the Medi-Warm oh it's upside down because of the way I have the camera but it's uh, 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 you know warm you can find it at, by the way I bought this at the uh, Jed's um, it's available at Foy's and I'm sure it's avail available at the New York um, I forget the name of the website uh, you know the, the New York Pigeon uh, supplies your local um, your local uh, guys and girls have it as well but uh, anyway so let me go ahead and uh, get a bird Now, I do have the hoodie here, but I'm not gonna, it's not, it doesn't go from uh, one side to the other. And so, and I'm by myself, so I basically tuck, let me uh, bring this down. Let's see if I can do this. So I tuck the bird between my legs as such. Okay. I'm going to start with the paramyxovirus para one. So you want to pull the, the skin of the neck out. Okay, and you want to find your spot here. And she's done with that one. And it's only a, a 25 milliliter uh, portion. And this one is good to go. Okay. Now, another thing that you can use is this thing I don't know what what the name of it is but you put the bird inside and you lock it so you can buy this again at those uh, uh, websites or those places I just mentioned and it just makes it easier to administer the vaccine and I'm gonna do that just uh, so I can show you closer um, on the on how to vaccinate and here's the bird okay for big birds it's kind of tight I guess but it uh, it can uh, it can do the trick for you so uh, I'm gonna see if I can put this up okay I'm gonna flip it this way right I'm gonna take uh, this one here I'm gonna pull our neck out okay pull this is kind of hard when when you don't have uh, a way to you know yeah 
I'm not going to be able to do it. But anyway, guys, you only want to give uh, a quarter, uh, not a whole milliliter. Uh, at least that's what I do. Um, I'm not sure. I believe the instructions say a quarter. Um, others uh, may administer a half. And so between a quarter and a half, I guess it's good. So you insert it. And it's that one. I know this is not really helping anybody, so. Uh, but. All right, guys, so I'm going to see if I can show you a little bit up closer. So one way is uh, to put the bird in between your legs and and um, and give them uh, the vaccine that way. The other way is to tuck the bird, you know, so you grab the bird, you, t you tuck the bird under your, your left arm if you're a righty, okay? Now, you do it in a way that you're holding the, the bird so she can move and you want to be able to to get it get your hand so that it reaches the neck as such and you want to pull out the skin not pull out pull up the skin so i i am uh getting the bird skin up okay and you should be able to see the skin right here so you pull you pull the skin up okay now you take the needle i kind of use two fingers as such i see the skin push it in quarter to a half done the other one so the skin is out up push it in a little bit quarter to half and it's done okay I want to give them a, a warm pill All done. Next. All right, and next we got the cocks. We're gonna do the same thing. Vaccinate these guys, and we'll be done with that until next year for these uh, breeders. So, all right, guys, I'm all done vaccinating my birds, mm -hmm. my breeders. And it's time to go over the Matus Awards and also to go over the winner of the of the bird. So the first one is the most funny uh, comment on my channel. And the award goes to Chris Salt. Chris, man. You had uh, uh, some pretty funny comments, at least uh, that's how I perceived of them. And uh, one of them just uh, made me uh, crack up uh, <laughs> very hard. So you get that award. Uh, congratulations. Let me know uh, your address. I'm going to need you to email it to me so that I can send you uh, this little award, something 
you can have to remember me by. Next up is the subscriber that made uh, the most comments, national category, and the winner is Mario T. Mario, congratulations, man. Uh, I won't need to ship it to you because I know you're coming by, and so you'll pick it up then. And uh, that's that. Next up is the most comments made international category. And the winner is Aus for Premium Jagger. Uh, congratulations. So thank you for all your comments. And I know many of them were a very, very good uh, ed education for me. So I appreciate it on, on both counts. Again, uh, I also need your your um, your address uh, to, um, to mail it to you. Next up is the category for most comments made by a fellow YouTuber. And the winner is... It's actually two winners, guys. It was a tie. So we have Thundercat Loft and we have Stratos Loft. So guys, uh, thank you, congratulations. Thanks for all your support. And same thing, I'm gonna need your address to mail it to you. And, and ironically, ironically, both uh, Thundercat Loft and Stratos Loft are from uh new jersey so and they're both uh, uh youtubers so guys you can uh pay me a visit and pick it up or send me your uh, address and uh i'll mail it to you and finally the award that i found to be um or the award for the comment i found to be most educational or inspirational the award goes to Kevin Norton. Kevin, uh, you made quite a lot of comments uh, on my channel and many of them with, with great advice. And you did it so much that I, I called you my uh, online mentor. And, and I mean it. Uh, thank you. Keep those, um, keep those uh, comments coming. Uh, criticism or constructive criticism is welcome to and uh, congratulations and guys thank you all congratulations all I mean I, I know it's it's not money or anything like that but it's just a way of me saying thank you to you as as my subscribers and and, and supporting the channel so thank you and um, these awards will only keep getting better <laughs> As as we uh, as we progress, okay. Next we have the uh, the raffle. Uh, we had eleven people that eleven subscribers that entered the contest, and I went ahead and uh, I uh, put their names here. Uh, this is uh, what do they call this? Um, like the wheel of names or something like that. So I have 11 uh, names here. Thank you of the, those that, uh, that uh, entered the contest. And let's go ahead and, and give it a shuffle here. Okay, I'm going to shuffle, 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 Marine Corps shuffle. All right, so... I'm gonna press this circle here, and whatever the triangle lands on will be the winner of the bird, okay? So here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm excited. Here we go. And the winner is. Zaid Abu. Congratulations, buddy. You got the bird. And um, next, we need to see what your selection was. And you want me to ship you the bird. So, 
Congratulations, man, again. And the reason I um, asked for a, a fun fact about, about you is so that, you know, I could just share it. Uh, I don't think there's anything here that is um, not shareable. And, and you, none of you uh, asked me not to share. And I, I just think it's um, kind of uh, cool to do so. And so Zaid, he's been uh, flying since he's 10 years old. He's now 20. And um, this year was his first year that he flew on, on his own besides uh, his dad. So congratulations. You got the bird, man. I hope it does some damage for you. That's it, guys. Again, congratulations to all the these uh, subscribers. And congratulations, Aid Abu. You got the bird, man. I'm going to ship it to you. I should have all the information. Uh, actually, I don't have your full address, so I'll be contacting you. And uh, good luck, man. Take it easy, guys.